Hi everybody and welcome to another pre-K art day here at the Living Arts and Science Center. I'm Miss Anna and I'm sure that all of you are probably wondering where Miss Ashley is. Don't worry, she's still here and she's going to join us for a very special song at the end of our session today. So today we're going to be reading a really special book called The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. This story is all about how sometimes in life we have to deal with really hard changes. We might have to try something that we've never tried before, do something that we've never done before, and those things can be a little bit scary. But it's really important when those things happen to lean on the people that love you and lean on the people that you love, like your family and your friends. So that's what our story is about today. And we're gonna actually go down on our carpet to read our story, so come on in close. The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Illustrations by Ruth E. Harper and Nancy M. Leake. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't wanna go to school, he told his mother. I wanna stay home with you. I wanna play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, can I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things that we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books, and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand? Asked Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, mommy loves you, mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. 
Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. I love you. The end. I absolutely love that story. It's so sweet and it's so true because our loved ones really do go with us wherever we go. So let's head over to our art table and make a craft based on the story that we just heard. I'm gonna put my apron on so that I don't make a mess, even though our craft is not too messy today. And today we're actually gonna be making our very own version of Chester the Raccoon that you will get to give to somebody that you love. We're actually gonna make our very own kissing hand. Should be really special. So, what you're gonna to need to make this craft is you're gonna need some construction paper, some white paper, some glue, some googly eyes, a pencil, and some scissors. And our very first step is to take one of our white pieces of paper and we're gonna fold it in half, just like this. Take your time, because sometimes it can be tricky to line the edges up, but get them all lined up and then press all the way across. If you're having trouble with this step, this would be a good time for your grown-up to help you out. Then we're going to get our pencil and we're going to take our hand and we're going to place our hand on top of our folded piece of paper. You want to make sure that your thumb is pressed up against the edge where we've made our crease, the edge that we folded. So you're gonna put it right there and you actually wanna kind of keep your fingers together because this is gonna become Chester the raccoon's face. So if you are having trouble tracing, have a parent help you trace while you just put your hand right there. We're gonna go all the way around with our pencil, just like this. When I take it off, it should look something like that. And I'm actually going to, right underneath here, I'm gonna connect, kind of like a smiley face shape, connect my two sides of my hand. And then, when I'm done, it should look like this. Now, we have to cut this out. Now, for, for the cutting on this project, you wanna make sure that your paper stays folded together. So, keeping our paper folded, I'm gonna start on my crease and I'm gonna cut my hand out. We wanna make sure that the part where our thumb goes off the page, that we don't cut that because that's gonna keep the two sides of our card connected. I'll show you what I mean once I'm all finished cutting. It'll make a little bit more sense. If you're super good with scissors, you can probably do this part all on your own. But if you're struggling a little bit with the fingertips, because this part can be a little hard, feel free to have a grown-up help you. Going all the way around. And now, what I'm left with looks just like this. It's a card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into Chester the raccoon, and we're gonna put a special heart on the inside to make our very own kissing hand that we can give to somebody that we love. So you're gonna turn your hand upside down, just like this. So you want your fingers pointing towards you. And now to turn this into a raccoon, what do we need? What are we missing? We're missing some ears, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is make some ears for Chester the raccoon. Now, I was actually short on gray construction papers. So I'm gonna use this kind of light blue grayish one. But if you have gray construction paper at home, you can use that. If you don't have any, you can use all white paper and color at the end to make it look like your raccoon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw two circles to 
become my ears. I'm gonna try and make them kind of the same size, but if they're a little different, that is a-okay. I'm gonna cut our ears out. And we're actually going to do the same thing again, but we're going to make our circles a little bit smaller so that they can become the inside of our ears. So I'm going to go right over here and I'm going to make tiny circles for the inside of my ears. circles right on the middle of your bigger circles just like this. So take your tiny circle put it right in the middle. And now we've got some ears for our raccoon. Now do you remember in the story when Chester talked about his mask? Raccoons have masks on their face. In fact, I'm going to grab our book so we can look one more time. Because we want our picture of Chester to be really accurate. So you can see how he's got that black right on his face. That's his little mask. So that's what we need to make next. Now, if you want to do this all on your own and make it super simple, you can actually cut out one strip to go all the way across, just like this. If you want to do it a little bit trickier, you can try and make what I kind of think looks like hmm, maybe a gumdrop or a little hill. We're going to go just like this, up and over, up and over. And those are going to become the two sides of Chester's little mask. So there's one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take these and we're gonna put one on each side just like that. Starting to look a little bit more like a raccoon, huh? So we're gonna use our glue stick and add some glue onto the back and stick those on to become our raccoon mask. like that. And now we actually need to attach our ears as well. Now for your ears, you want to attach those to this back sheet of paper. So I think an easy way to do it is to flip your card over and put two spots of glue and then stick our ears on so that they pop out the front. They look kind of like this. And now our raccoon has some little ears. Now for this next part, this is kind of tricky with paper. So if you want to do this next part with marker, if you have a gray marker nearby, that is a-okay. I'll do it in marker first, and then I'll show you in paper so you have both options. So with marker, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a line that goes all the way from your middle finger down here all the way up between the parts of your mask. And then, kind of like the letter Y, opens up like this. It's almost like we drew a big letter Y on our raccoon's face. And I can color this part in right here. Just like that. Or, if you wanna do it with paper, so that it matches your ears. So with me, mine's a little bit of a different color than my ears. So I'm gonna probably do it with paper so it matches. I'm gonna kind of set this right up here. 
and I'm going to draw a big letter Y on my paper that's about the same size, just like this. Now, if this part's a little bit tricky, have a grown-up help you. And now we're going to cut it out. And just like with our ears and just like with our mask, we'll glue it right on top. like the right shape. Now let's add some glue. And we'll stick it right on there. Now, what is Chester missing? Let's see. We gave him his mask, we gave him his ears, but he still can't see or smell. That's not good. So let's give him some eyes and let's give him a nose. Now for your nose, if you have a black pom-pom like this, this would be a really cool nose. But if you don't, you can always cut out a circle with your black paper and that will work just fine too. So if you have one like this, we'll add a little bit of glue and that'll go right down here on where our middle finger was. And we'll stick our pom-pom right on there. Now he has a nose. Now for your eyes, if you have googly eyes, these work great. But if you don't, you can make your own eyes using construction paper. So you would start by making a bigger circle out of black and then a smaller circle with your white. It has to be that way, otherwise we can't see the white against the white paper. So that is totally up to you and either way looks great. So let's add our eyes on there. And now we have made Chester the raccoon. Now we used our hand to trace this and we want to make this a really special card to give to somebody that we love. So I think on the inside where it still looks like a hand, we could put a little heart in the middle to make our very own kissing hand. So if you have paper and you'd like to use paper, I'll show you how to make a heart. You are also more than welcome to just use a marker and draw it on. To make a heart using paper, just like we did at the beginning, we're going to fold it in half and we'll use a marker to draw just half of a heart. So if you cut a heart right down the middle, let's say we have a heart like this and we cut it right down the middle, this is the shape we want to draw on the side that we folded. So we're gonna draw just half. It's gonna go up like this, curve around, and come down to a point. I'm gonna make mine a little smaller though, so that it can fit in my card. And now, when we cut that out, we're gonna end up with a really nice heart that we can glue right in the middle of our card. right in here. And we have Chester and our kissing hand. So I hope you guys enjoyed that craft. If you have any trouble, make sure to get help from a grown-up. And that is all we have for Pre-K Art Day today. So we are going to end with a super special song. And I'm going to have Miss Ashley join us because she is great on the ukulele and I'm not, so I'm just gonna help sing. Alrighty friends, so we're gonna sing the same song that we have for the past few weeks. We're gonna sing Don't Worry, Be Happy. If you know the words, sing nice and loud. And if you don't know the words yet, listen closely so you can uh, join us next time. So I'm gonna start and then when I nod, it's time for you to join me.